So back in August of uh, 2019, suddenly reports began to come out of isolated illnesses in various parts of the United States. And at first, physicians really did not know the underlying cause of these illnesses. And as the months passed by, more and more of these patient illnesses were being reported. And we suddenly knew that we were facing probably a new epidemic of some sort. But then it was recognized when they were questioned that many of these patients admitted also to vaping THC products. It was then we recognized that there was a potential contribution likely from what is known as the cutting agent used in vaping products that are used with THC. And the minute I recognized that there was an involvement of a very heavy inflammatory response, the sort of light bulb went off and I decided that we needed to test in the laboratory setting whether in fact we could establish a linkage between what was seen clinically and exposures to just pure aerosols of vitamin E. We were able to show conclusively that aerosols from vitamin E acetate when vaped the vitamin E acetate is found in the lungs. We were able to show both in the fluid and in the lung tissue that there were large foamy macrophages which stained positive for lipid content. We were able to show that neutrophils were recruited to the lungs and other immune cell types also, and that the cumulative effect of this was damage to the lungs. What I hope people will take away from this, both the public and the medical community, that aerosols of vitamin E acetate when vaped reach the lung and they cause damage to the lung. And so there should be great caution in what is being vaped, the source of the liquid that is being vaped, and the medical community should make sure to ask their patients not only just are you smoking, which is what we are always asked, but do you also vape and what do you vape?